good. YouTube oh where are we at we're in my girl car a station wagon yeah this is what I got to replace the Tacoma I don't know it was my second third gen Tacoma I, I never liked it beautiful truck love looking at it thought it looked badass pretty capable truck never loved it never loved it um, probably part of it is just yeah, it just wasn't comfortable to me which is odd because they're so similar to the forerunner but different so on a whim I was at the Subaru dealership for the second time first time I drove a WRX but that that one doesn't make sense for what I need it for because terrible fuel mileage 91 octane not enough room to carry my stuff for work so that was that was edged out I had a WRX in the past loved it so I kind of started looking at the Outback Wilderness. I'm like, God damn, it's kind of a cool looking car. It's kind of a cool looking car. Um, they have plenty of them on the lot. Not like Toyota. And there was no markup. Not like Toyota. Um, and there was no horse shit. The only thing they had added to it was a window tint, which um, since this one just came off the truck when I bought it, it hadn't had a chance to have any of the dealer stuff done. So it was a straight deal. There's no added anything from the dealer and no added, uh, market adjustment. So I've got 600 miles on the car now. And so far, I like it a lot. It's averaging about 25 miles to the gallon over two Phillips, so not terrible, not terrible at all. I don't like the uh, the fake shift points in the CVT. I mean, I'm not a huge CVT fan, but if that's your only choice, just let the CVT be a CVT. And let's not put the fake shift points in it. Kind of annoying. Uh, I'm on a road trip right now. Headed to San Diego, so about a, I don't know, about a thousand mile round trip, something like that. The uh, active cruise control, <laughs> pretty cool, pretty cool. It's it's decent. It does it does pretty well. It kind of holds itself right in the center. A little, uh, it gets a little uh, unhappy if you go to swerve. Like if there's something in the road, you you try to uh, go around it. It gets a little unhappy. Um, but I'm loving it. I'm loving it so far. So, uh, yeah. Let's go on a road trip, shall we? What a pleasant little car to drive. It's kind of a cool spot to take some pictures and cruise across. I will say I thought the Apple CarPlay in my 4Runner was pretty bad, but I don't know. Uh, Subaru might be giving it a run for its money. This head unit, uh, for being a 2024 model, I'm not... I'm not particularly blown away by it, but it's still pretty good. The car overall is still pretty good. Let's poke our head in here and take some photos, shall we? It's an interpretive plaza. All right, well, here you have it, 2024. Subaru Outback Wilderness Edition. It is the replacement for my Tacoma. And I'm taking my first little road trip with it. And you know what? I like it. Yes, I do. 
Shall we? Uh... This is kind of weird still. I guess you got to be real close with the key and then, I don't know, get your hip in there. It's not really supposed to be some proximity, but you know what? Jesus Christ, if you can't just touch that fucking button, I don't know. Got some, we got a variety of shoes. Got a fridge. Got the fridge in here. Got the backpack. This is kind of cool. I like that. I like the hats, you know, because we're lazy nowadays, old man. Wilderness. It's got like almost an inch lift. It's cool. It's a cool little car. Well, guys, I don't know. Let's uh, let's go find uh, San Diego. And uh, if you haven't already done so, why don't you hit that like and subscribe button uh, for some 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 amazing Subaru content. I don't know how much Subaru content we'll have. It's just pretty much introducing the new cast member to the channel. I like the car. Tacoma was cool, but it wasn't it for me. I still I love the 4Runner. 4Runner is not going anywhere.